Guys, welcome to my Spring Creek Manor Lodge. My god, it has been such a long time since I've been in here. Honestly, I wasn't even sure if uh, if I was still going to have a lodge. Um, I know people had issues with losing animals and stuff, so I was kind of afraid to even come in here because this is where like all of my diamonds are. And, man, I just thought that it would be kind of a neat little nostalgic trip to come back here and take a look at some of the past trophies that I've had. And, you know what, guys? Just being back here and just seeing the entranceway reminds me of what is so special about this damn game. Uh, no other game... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, really does what this game does. Like, I I literally might as well have just stepped into my own real trophy lodge. Like, I, I remember these hunts. I do. I, I remember getting this 1,000 fallow deer, this diamond. You know, it was... Uh, it was so amazing. I spotted him drinking at the water. He was at that um that little like waterway on the trail to go to uh the shooting range in Hirschfelden. And I seen him and I just uh I knew he was special. Like I spotted him and it said he was a level five and I just knew he was special because the antlers on him were just so massive. And honestly, I probably took a little longer than I had to to take the shot. But guys, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was super nervous. Uh, I wanted a diamond fallow deer for such a long time. The fallows look so good. And that's not a true wreck. Unfortunately, I don't have a true wreck diamond fallow yet. But uh, yeah, I, I, re I remember that. I remember that hunt. This here, this is a 1,000 scoring Siberian musk deer. I remember this hunt. I remember finding him. Uh, I wasn't looking for musk deer. Absolutely not. This is the one creature in the game that, like, honestly, guys, they could take this animal out of the game and it wouldn't even bother me. But uh, I was hunting around Medved and I picked up the track of this animal and it was a max weight track. So I said, oh, you know what? I, I have to at least see. And, uh, you know, he took me on a, a pretty wild ride. And I spotted him. And I seen that he was at level 3. So it was like, all right, here we go. We got to get it. And I want to say... Hmm. I want to say that this was possibly my first 1,000 scoring animal. I think it was. And again, guys, if you're new to the game, like... Like what? Possibly, like, even if you bought the game this year, I believe. Um, hmm. I have to think about this. I don't know. Maybe not. Let me take a look at these here 809 okay so what did Quattro Colitis came out Quattro Colitis came out I believe in December so the true score did happen this year okay but if you probably got the game within the last couple months I'd say uh, you're probably pretty confused on what I'm talking about here so as you can see on the trophy ring, it says 1,000. Prior to the scoring system now, this is how animals were scored. They would uh, they would take a combination of quick kill, consecutive harvest, and oh boy, I forget the other one. Uh, but yeah, it, it was them, and then you got your trophy rating out of it. Uh, 950 was diamond 950 to 1000 1000 was the highest they would go so 
a 1,000 scoring diamond was pretty special. Um, this guy, <laughs> he says, uh, there's nothing special about Muskier, I swear to God. Uh, Road Deer, this is my diamond Road Deer. I remember, I remember this hunt. I remember getting this melanistic. I remember getting that diamond that was, uh, uh do I want to say this was my first diamond white tail? Yeah. Yeah, that had to be my first time in Whitetail. It really did. So, what I thought, what brought me into here, and kind of what I wanted to do in this video, um, you know, we are on the cusp of a brand new map, guys. It's it's coming, it's, it's confirmed, the date has been set, <clears throat> you know, uh, PC guys, they're going to get it on June 23rd, you know, us console peasants, we got to wait till July 8th. Uh, I, I have thoughts about that, that uh, I I think I will get into. Um, the only thing I'm going to say about it is that I know everybody really likes to blame the consoles about that. But the way I see it is that I play Farming Simulator 19 and they just released a DLC. And every time they release a paid DLC, okay, I'm not talking about mods. Mods in the game, that's a completely different uh, subject. I'm talking paid DLCs. Anytime they schedule a DLC to come out, it comes out on that day on all platforms. They've never had a DLC come out and it hit PC first, and then like a month later come out on console. So my question is, how come they can do it every time? And EW can't. You know, I, I don't know. It seems a little strange to me. SnowRunner. SnowRunner brought out the uh, the Rift update. Not a DLC, just an update. Gave us a new map. Gave us some fixes. But you know what? It came out on the same day on all platforms. PC, PS4, Xbox. It came out on the same day. So I don't understand why some developers can manage to, to do it. And... EW can't, you know, so I, I, I don't really know, but I'm, I'm not going to beat that dead horse. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not going to do it. That's just how I feel about it. Um, this here, this was my first diamond black tail deer and I wanted a 1000 scoring diamond so bad and it was so close. It was so close, but it wasn't, uh, heartbreaking, but still a diamond. So it was good. This elk, oh, I remember this hunt. This elk was such a pain in my ass. Oh, my God. Hey, guys, like, all of these hunts I'm pretty sure are documented right here on my channel. Aside from probably the ducks and the rabbits. Uh, the, the rabbits, definitely. Yeah, this one here, I didn't get a video on this. This is my whitetail jackrabbit. I... I remember this hunt. I remember where I found him. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just crazy with this game. You know? All of the the, the major animals, like the, the diamonds, I remember all of them. I remember the stories behind them. I remember where I found them, how I found them. I don't remember where I found this one. I do remember that he was sitting next to, like, a level 3. Bear, they were sitting side by side, and it was a little disappointing because there's uh, there's no differences. You know, a bear is a bear. A level three bear looks identical to the nine legendary. It's very disappointing. I hope eventually they do something about that. Like I feel that it, it the very least just make them different sizes. You know, just. Maybe every three levels on, on animals that go to that legendary. Especially the, just, just the predators. The predators, I'd be okay with it. You know, just it's like physically changing their size or something to show us that there's a difference. But yeah, that was... I couldn't believe that. And if I remember correctly, yeah, he was a 994, so he's another really big diamond. Moving on. Now we're moving into the, the area that I put my rares in. So we got... Piebald Caribou, Leucistic Caribou, um, Albino Bison, 
That Black Buck, I don't know why I have him in here. He's he's definitely not a rare. I think he's just a uh, a fur variant. Let's see. Yeah, he's just a dark. That's not a rare. Um, we have my albino puma that I believe I got off of Huntsman's map. I think so. Uh, this is not rare at all. I just threw it in here because I do think they look good, but a piebald axis deer is definitely not rare. In my book, it's it's fairly common. This, however, this is a black gold wild boar. Now, apparently, this is kind of like the rarest fur variation of wild boar. Um, that's what I have heard all across Discord and uh, and stuff like that. I think I've gotten like two of these. The first time I didn't know what it was and I didn't have the lodge. And I was trying to ask people about it and nobody would answer me. And then I found out later that a black gold is, is very rare. Um, now, I, I don't really know how the rarity works. I've never seen an albino boar on any of my maps. So to say that a black gold is more rare than albino... Ah, I, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the map. Like I say, I've, I've killed... I think this is the second one I killed. So, I don't know. But moving on, and here we have Melanistic Rabbit. Oh, I forgot about that one. But you know what? I do remember. This was on Quattro Colinus. This was on Quattro Colinus, and... I was... Was I live streaming? I was either live streaming or I was in multiplayer when I first found found this rabbit. And I remember I went back for it. This one, I want to say... Hmm, do I have a video for this? I may have a video for that one. I don't know. This is my piebald blacktail. <laughs> I remember I remember that. I remember all these guys. It's just... It's so crazy. Like I say, this is the only game that's like that. That you could come in an area like this and it's just... It's just like that. It's like... It, it, instantly snaps you back to that moment when when you found these animals man it's just it's just crazy now this is something i definitely want to talk about that guys i am so excited about this new rocky mountain map i mean obviously the map itself is just gorgeous i think it, it may possibly be the most beautiful map in the game yet from what i've seen anyway uh, again, I'm on console, so I don't get, I don't get early access, but I've been watching the streamers, I've been watching Jaxie Beard, I've been watching the, the uh, Flinner, and the videos that he puts out, in D33, and the map just looks so good, and literally, the animals on the map, I just love, okay? There's not an animal on the map that I don't like, even the animals that they've brought over from other maps, I'm completely fine with, I, I think it's great. With that being said, my biggest issue with the mule deer, and I know that the racks are a problem, okay? I, I do understand that the racks aren't great. But my biggest problem is the body size, okay? that That's my biggest problem. So now, we have a mule deer that tops off at, I believe, 210 kilograms. I think that's uh, their max weight. Which puts them at around 462 pounds for us Americans. That's a big animal. A 462 pound deer? I mean, come on. That's ridiculous. That's like... That's up there in red deer size. Okay? that That's how big that is. Now, right across from this mule deer... And that's not a diamond. Okay? So, that's not like a 400 pound mule deer. But still, just, just for a comparison... A roe deer tops out at like 32 kilograms, I want to say, which is about 77 pounds, I think. So now look at these. Why is a deer that can weigh over 400 pounds, 462 pounds to be exact, why does it look smaller physically than a 77 pound roe deer? Now, mind you, this roe deer. Is it a 77 pound one? This is a smaller one. And not that it matters because the body size isn't a thing in this game. Okay, a, a 30 pound, you know, a 30 pound road deer is going to physically be the same size as a 70 pound road deer. I get that. 
But why does a uh, three, four hundred pound deer, why is their body the same size as a small roe deer? So kind of the point I'm getting at is even if South American mule deer are on the smaller size, how the hell can they be 462 pounds with that tiny body? Like, I don't quite understand that. But, guys, here's the thing that I, I... Here's the point that I wanted to get to. In Flinter's live stream today, he confirmed that on the new map, they tweaked the body size of the mule deer. The mule deer are bigger. They're physically bigger. The sizes are bigger. He had one in his lodge, and the mule deer is bigger than the pronghorn. Okay? So, for me, this is huge, because I've been wanting this for so long. Like, when I would go on Parque Fernando, and you would see a mule deer and black bucks together, and the mule deer were the same size as a black buck. And it would just aggravate me so bad. Now, I don't know if they're going to change the size of these on Parque Fernando. Because, well, as I said, they did say that on Parque Fernando, those are South American mule deer, and they're, they're smaller. So, I mean, I'm okay with that, but on the Rocky Mountains map, the fact that they're bigger, oh man, I am ecstatic about that. I really am. That just, when Flinter said that on his live stream, man, that just completely made my day. And to boot, TK said on the last live stream that we're not going to have to wait too long for true racks on the mule deer. So, like, honestly... I don't know what it's going to take to get me off the Rocky Mountain map. I really don't. I am just going to... I'm going to move in. I'm going to move in. I'm going to find one of those little cabins, and I'm going to move right in. So, taking a look at the rest of our lodge here. Oh, yeah. So, okay. I actually got this guy first. He was a level 5 reindeer on Medved. And he scored 949, one point under diamond. Oh, so close. I wanted a diamond reindeer so bad. So bad I wanted this to be a diamond. And he was just a point under. But you know what? It's still a max level reindeer. Great rack on it. So then I went back there and I seen this guy. <laughs> As you can tell. I mean, look at the rack. Ah, let me see if I can move around here. Look at the rack on him. Compared to the wreck on this one. You could definitely tell. Although on this one, I love the little tines that come off the back tine. I think that's really cool. But yeah, so this here, he was another level 5 medium. And I was like, oh, he's got to be a diamond. And he scored 950. So he was just a diamond. Literally the smallest diamond that you could get back then when they still had that scoring. And this guy here, I just, I liked his rack and I love his coloring. Like, he's a common. I don't really know why. But uh, he's not a, a, a fur variation or anything. He's a common, and they're common. But I really like the look of that, that dark on top with the, uh, the lighter underneath. Very cool. Okay, so this is something interesting for all you guys that are really new to the game. So what we have here is this is a diamond moose and this is a pre-true rack old school uh antlered moose so there was a time in the game that we didn't have true racks and they just had like pre-rendered antlers for all the animals and the animals would have like two sizes of antler per level so they would have like a small rack and a large rack so this here, this is the small diamond rack, the smaller of the two. There is a bigger one. So this would be like a large four rack, small five. Um, I don't I don't have a large rack old school diamond moose, unfortunately. Um, but now in contrast to that, this, this guy here, this is a diamond. And this is a true rack diamond. And if I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's he scored 962. 
this one. He was 957, 962. So not that much scoring difference, but as you can see, huge difference in the racks. Huge difference. And I, I can honestly say that, you know, I love the true rack system. I really do. I know that there's people out there that they like the old racks better because it's, you know, the, the symmetrical and, and blah, blah. And that's fine. Like, everybody can have their own opinion. I personally, I really like the true racks. I mean, look at that moose. Look at that rack compared to that rack. Ah, I love that. That looks so good. I'm definitely having issues in this lodge. I feel like the game's going to crash. So before that happens, guys, I think I am just going to end this video now. Um, I just kind of wanted to, to have a nostalgic look back. And I don't know what's going on. This is really crazy. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to have a nostalgic look back. And uh, coming back in this lodge is just amazing. I mean, I just I can't believe how the memories just, just come back. And uh, that's why this game is so special. I really do believe that. You know, if, name another game that you can get those same kind of feelings by just, you know, looking at things like this. I don't know, man. It's really cool. All I know is I'm really excited about the... Uh, what do we have here? Do I have... I know I have a diamond scrub here. I don't know where it is. Hmm. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited about the new map coming out. Uh, like I said, I've I felt for a while that, you know, this game was really in dire need of some new content. This year, I feel, hasn't been that great. Um, oh, you know what? This, not to change the subject, but this one here is pretty cool because this Puma was a 943. This was a 9 Legendary. Did not make Diamond. Didn't make Diamond. And then we have next to it, this Blacktail Deer, which was a level 5, and it scored 946, it didn't make diamonds. So I thought that was just perfect. Perfect for this multi-mount. Two, uh, two near diamonds that just didn't make it. That's actually a diamond wild boar, 951. He was just a diamond. Um, no, no diamond foxes. But, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, wait. Was one of these guys? A no. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There, I knew there was one more I wanted to show you guys. This one here. These two bears. These are two nine legendaries that didn't make diamond. And actually, the one is a 941. He was the first Night Legendary that I seen that he didn't make diamond. And the other one is a 925. And believe it or not, he was a Night Legendary. Very low scoring line, 9 Legendary. But uh, nonetheless, he was a 9 Legendary. Good memories, man. Good memories. And like I say, pretty much all of these diamonds are documented on my channel. Um, I believe they're in the playlist. I will link that playlist uh, to this video down below and if you watch to the end um i'll put it on one of the end screens as well so that being said guys i hope everybody has a fantastic weekend um i hope everybody's having a really good day and uh you know put down in the comments what are you excited the most about for the rocky mountain map is it turkeys is it the rocky mountain elk is it pronghorns um is it the new longbow you know it could be anything. Maybe it's just having uh, new content. But uh, yeah, guys, I want to hear in the comments. What are you guys excited about the most about this new map? All right, so we're going to get out of here. And the next guy, the next video that I do on this, if I can talk, uh, we will definitely be hunting some animals. So we'll see you then, guys.